Hello, I'm Seamus McDonnell and this is April 28, 2020. And it's uh, time for update number 15 for the build of scamp number 459. So now that we have the uh, cockpit combings installed, we can go ahead and try and figure out where along the combing that we should install the uh, oar locks. Um, so one of the nice things about the scamp sailboat is that if the wind dies on you, you've got uh, an alternate means of propulsion to get you where you need to be. So in the uh, drawings or in the manual, I couldn't find a fixed dimension that's given for where we should locate this uh, oar lock along the, along the cock cockpit cone. So what I've done is I've, through a, a process of trial and error here, I uh, tried to find the sweet spot for me for, for rowing and uh, where this oar lock should be positioned. And the sweet spot for me ended up being a dimension of 32 inches from the edge of the cabin side to the forward edge of the oarlock. So uh, one of the other things we'll need for, for rowing is a, a row seat, a removable row seat. So, um, so what I've done is I've got a piece of, a ten, I've got a 10 inch piece of um, oak and I just went to my local hardware store and I bought this oak it's actually a stair thread and it comes already nicely rounded on one side and I just uh, cut it to length so that it would fit in here I also put a, a recess in the edge so that when it's it fits in it's it becomes level with the two side seats so the manual calls for the roll lock fitting to be mounted on the cockpit combing just like this. However, we've learned from uh, a number of scamp owners that this is not a very robust solution and um, is subject to failure. So there's been lots of suggestions out there and different methods of how to brace this and stiffen it, but uh, what I've come up with, my solution is to come up with a, a stiffener post, and I'll place my stiffener post right here, and I'll screw that, uh, glue and screw that in place. So the stiffener post is just a solid piece of wood, it's three inches by two inches, and I've also put a nice bevel on it here to, uh, so that it matches the, uh, the, the, the uh, uh, cockpit combing rail. So I also found that I had to put a teardrop uh, little notch in it as well in the middle so that when the uh, oil uh, fitted in there that it was free to rotate fully. So that's my solution. I think it's a nice neat looking uh, uh, solution to the problem. So today we've also reached another significant milestone in the build. Um, the plywood uh, kit that comes that uh, comes with the boat is uh, has 71 plywood pieces that have to all go together to form the final boat. And these two pieces happen to be the final two pieces to be installed. This is the uh, transom cap and we also have the transom cap builder. So um, the transom cap goes right in here over the top of the transom, just like this, like so. And once we get that glued and screwed in place, we can then concentrate on the finished painting. 